Hello, how are you there? Good day. This is Mr. Vijay from Kusarishwaraka. Today, I'm going to guide you and help you to understand mathematics in a much easier and a simpler manner. I'm going to teach you mathematics for SPM and the chapter that I'm going to go through with you is one of the most difficult chapter among many students. Yes, it's true. Many students find the chapter very difficult. What is the chapter? Earth as a sphere. You see, when I say that, I can say a lot of business starting to be very grumpy and sad. Don't worry. Mr. Vijay is here, so don't worry, be happy. Alright. Okay, now let's take a look. Shubha, shoot, please. Read the question for me, Shubha. Table 4 shows the latitudes and longitudes of four points P, Q, R, and V on Earth's surface. Yes. Point B, latitude, mm -hmm. um, change the table. Oh, very good. Table, huh? Alright, so. Uh, point B, latitude 32 degree north. Okay, so I'll just draw the Earth and I shall uh, take the points and immediately put onto the Earth. Okay, the diagram right of the Earth. Okay, so point B is what? 32 degrees? North, 20 degree west. So I shall draw the Earth in two dimension. Okay, and I shall put the equator at the center. This is the equator, and O is the center of the Earth. This is the equator, which will be 0 degrees. Are you all okay? So point B is what? 32 degrees north, is it? Yep. And? 20 degrees west. Okay, 20 degrees west. So if this is the meridian, so this will be your west and this will be your east. Agree, also, right? Wonderful. So, 32 degrees. So I quickly draw a latitude here, a latitude line, 32 degrees north. Got it? And I shall call this, this longitude, this longitude here, I shall call it as, what did you say just now? 20 degrees west. Thank you. 20 degrees west. So 30 degrees north and how much is that? Um, 20 degrees west. 20 degrees west is this point here, correct or no? I will call this as point B. So far so good? Yes. Alright, yes Shubha, next point? Our next point is point Q. Mm -hmm. Latitude X degree south. Alright. And 20 degrees west. Okay, 20 degrees west has already been drawn up already. This is the longitude 20 degrees west. But, X degrees south. South means it's below equator. So I quickly just draw a line and I call this X degrees south. So this will be my point Q. Because this is at x degrees south and 20 degrees west. Understand, students? Next, the third point, Shubha. The third point is um, point R, mm -hmm. 32 degrees north. Okay, again, 32 degrees north, already drawn, already the latitude, yeah. Y degrees east. Y degrees east. So I shall call this longitude as y degrees east. Can you see that, huh? So this will be the point of R. R. Thank you for that. Yep. And the fourth point? The fourth point is point V, 10 degrees south. So, 10 degrees south. Now, this is going to be quite tricky because we don't know whether it is below x degrees or above x degrees. So I'll just take a chance and I will just draw a latitude just above that. Can you see that now? And I shall call this 10 degrees south. I'm just taking a chance. Later, maybe we can correct ourselves, no issue. And? And y degrees east. Y degrees east. So we have already called this as y degrees east, right? So this point will be point? V. Thank you for that, V. Can you see that also that? Yes, please, go ahead. A, T is a point on the Earth's surface yep. such that P, T is the diameter of the Earth. Okay, P, T is the diameter of the Earth. So this is point P, right? T will be the diameter of the earth, PT. Okay, this is also a little bit challenging. Alright, so if P is here, alright, and if it is on the diameter of the earth, that is what it must cut through the zero, am I right now? So it most probably will be the other side. Alright, so I shall draw a line which cuts through like that, and T shall be here. This is how we draw a diameter of the earth. So T must be over the other side. Can you see, students? But again, I don't know whether this point T is between X and 10 or below or above. I'm just taking a chance. Yes, Shiva, continue. State the position of T. Interesting. So, state the position of T. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, they want us to show the position of point T, right? Okay. Now, Let's take a look here. Now, this is point P here. 
and we already know the longitude. What shall the longitude be, students? 20 degrees west. 20 degrees west. If this is the diameter, from here to here must be 180 degrees. Am I right now, students? Okay, Bala? Alright? So 20 degrees to get 180, what must I do, students? 180 minus 20, correct? Yeah. So what must it be? 160 degrees. So I already say this what students? I already say this as what? Y degrees. So I shall not use this point. I shall draw another. You understand what I mean, students? I shall draw another longitude. I shall erase this and I shall draw another longitude here in order for us not to get confused. So I shall draw another longitude here. Alright? Can you see that? So I shall call this as D. Okay? And this I shall call it as 160 degrees east. Because if P is on the west, then this has to be on the east. So far so good, students. And, and the other thing is that if this is at the diameter, then what you must understand is it also must be on the same latitude, latitude opposite to it. Understand that, students? So what is the latitude here, students? 32 degrees north. 32 degrees. And what is the latitude here now? 32 south. 32 degrees south. south. Can you see that now, students? So, my point T would be, always remember, when you want to write a point, which must come first? Latitude first, correct? Huh? So, what my latitude? 160 degrees is, and followed by what, students? 32 degrees south. south. That will be my point T. So, what's so good? Are you okay, students? Alright? Okay, next please continue. B, calculate number one. The value of x if the distance from P to Q measured along the meridian is 4,500 nautical miles. Okay. Again, uh, uh, repeat that again, sorry. Calculate the value of x if the distance from P to Q measured along the meridian is 4,500 nautical miles. Okay, the distance from P to Q, is it? Yep. Right, this is my P. Where is my Q here now, student now? Where is my Q? Here. So, P to Q, alright? What is the distance mentioned, students? 4,500 nautical miles. 4,500 nautical miles. I want to ask you an important question now. This distance is what, students? Is it along the latitude or along the longitude? Along the it's along the longitude. Are you clear now? It's along the longitude. Are you clear now? If the distance is along the longitude, okay, distance along the longitude, the formula is what? The angle multiplied by 60. What is this angle? This angle here means both latitude. Very easy. P is on what latitude, students? 32 degrees. 32 degrees north. And Q is on what latitude, students? We don't know. We want to find. Agreeable or not? But if one is not, one is south, what do we do? Add. Exactly, we add. So 32 plus with what? X degrees. So 32 plus with X. Can you see that or not? Times by what? 60. Yes or no, students? And what is the distance already given to us? We already know what's the distance to 4,500. 4,500. So I put a 4,500 here. Now what do I do? The 60 I bring it over the other side. So 32 plus x I get what's written? 4,500 divided by 60. So cut, cut. How much is 450 divided by 6? 450 divided by 6. 75. 75. Can you see that now? So, my x is equal to this 32, bring over there what? Minus, right? 75 minus by 32, how much is that, student? 43 degrees. So, the question is asking what now, students? Um, the value of x. So, my x is what? 7, how much is that, sorry? 40? 43 degrees, that's your answer. Can you see how I've worked it out? I hope you understand, yeah? Alright? So, I hope you have benefited from what I've explained to you here. Okay, and uh, actually this chapter is very simple. If you would like to know more, please go to our website at www.rakan.edu.my or contact me at 012 680 5900 
to attend for tutorial classes where I'll make it easy for you to understand. Trust me, you can understand maths in a very easy manner. Alright? And I help many students to get A's. So please attend for my classes. All the best. Good luck.